this intro because my dumbass did not update the new wireless mic system I got and all the audio on the video was just a screeching mess of static. So I ended up getting the DJI Osmo Action 3 and the Rode Wireless Go 2 mic, long names, um, and I was going to use these for some more point of view shots for the videos during installs. Um, didn't even think to plug in the mic and update it. So there was some feedback issues going on between the camera and the, the mic that I didn't catch until it was too late. So I'm going to have to go in and dub over everything. So enjoy my dumbass dubbing stuff now. And uh, thanks for watching. So as I mentioned in the intro there, I'm using the DJI Osmo here, Action 3. Um, I got it hooked up to my hat to try and get more point of view videos. So hopefully I aimed these right. Um, today we're doing the Perrin Strut Tower Brace, Strut Tower Bar, whatever you want to call it. It's a very quick, very easy install. It's four uh, nuts and the provided screws from Perrin. So we're going to go through this and I'll describe what's going on and when. tools you're going to need are a 14 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, and a number four Allen key. They do provide one. I just have the, the 3H drive one here for the torque wrench. We'll talk about the torque specs later. Obviously you need the ratchet and then you're going to want some masking tape for your 15 millimeter socket. At this point, I have no idea what I'm rambling about. Probably talking about the feet for the strut tower that come in the kit. Now you're just going to take your 14 millimeter, pop these uh, loose. They're not super tight, so they'll come off very easily. Since I botched all the audio, I'm just going to do some time-lapsing here to make this video a little quicker. Now you're going to grab one of the supplied feet from the kit, toss it on. It's very obvious how this goes. There's really no way of screwing this up. Then you're going to put on your two supplied uh, nuts hand tight. These nuts? Ha! <laughs> Got <he! laughs> There's two versions. There is a short and a long. The long nut goes on the back and the short one goes on the front. Then repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. Now you're going to want to take the strut bar tube itself and rest it on the feet. You're going to want to have it even between spacing between the ends of the feet there. This does not touch on either side. You just want to get it even, put your uh, cap screws on and get them snug finger tight. You're going to want to do those as evenly as you can, jumping around a little bit. Definitely make sure to go underneath the wire harness like you saw there, and it will touch the black plastic clip under there. So another time lapse because I fiddle with this like a baboon for too long. Now I fumbled around getting the feet caps and the screws out. Should have probably did that, you know, before filming. So now you're just going to set your cap on and put in your screws and snug them down. Finger tight for now. Um, you're going to want to do it evenly, so don't completely snug one down on one corner, then jump to the next. Try and space it out as much as you can. 
Then once again, do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now they recommend you throw some masking tape on your 15 millimeter socket so you don't mar up the nice new metal pieces you got there. Um, I went a little overboard, I guess, on the tape, and then it ended up ripping and scuffing the nuts a little bit. It's it's not a big deal. The feet weren't scuffed, so I really don't care anyway, as I'm not under there staring at the part all day. So from this point on, you're going to want to push the strut bar itself back towards the cab of the car, then snug down each nut. Don't over tighten them because from this after this point, you're going to want to torque them down. They say it is 22 foot pounds of torque. I just have a cheapo key torque wrench that I used. Um, you don't have to torque them down. Um, I just tried to stick to instructions as much as possible. Same goes to the little screws on the feet cap. And this is where I noticed the tape failed me and off it went. So now it's time to bust out the torque wrench here. Again, it's not 100% needed, but I was just trying to stick to the instructions as much as possible for the video. So 22 foot pounds for the two nuts on each strut tower foot. Now for the foot cap screws, that recommends eight to 10 foot pounds. Um, I don't recall the inch pound equivalent. Um, my wrench only went to 10, so that's what I went with. I don't use cheapo or freight Allen sockets like I did because I almost destroyed the last screw getting that one in there. It, if I have to take that out, it might be a little bit of a pain. Again, same thing on torquing these down. Try and jump around evenly and do it. I, I try to start at one corner, jump to the other corner, then proceed from there. So once you got all the uh, cap screws bolted down, it is done. It's a very quick install without filming. This probably would have taken me 15 minutes. Um, it, it, again, it's very simple. You just got to make sure you tighten things down evenly. You don't have to torque it down to the specifications. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Um, that being said, uh, I'm hoping to get some more videos coming soon. I'm planning on doing the Perrin diverter valve they sent us. That's hopefully going to be next weekend, maybe the weekend after. I've been lazy and things have been hectic around here, so I haven't been doing a lot of filming. I also have a pulley cover we got to modify to fit with the AOS there. And awaiting some other parts, hopefully soon, from Perrin we can get tossed on here. Otherwise, uh, again, sorry for the weird dub hack job this video turned out to be. I was just stupid and did not realize I needed to update that mic system. All's good now, so that should not be an issue ever again. Um, like, subscribe, all that jazz apparently I have to say. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.